Extraction of DNA from bacteria. DNA is most important used in phylogeny, DNA fingerprinting and sequencing. So let's start. <laughs> Let's take 50 to 100 mg of bacterial culture in a pen drop as well as 50 to 100 microliter of bacterial homogenate in a sterile pen drop. Add 900 microliter of triazole in each sample. Look at this, we are adding 900 microliter of triazole in each sample. Change, mix the triazole and sample thoroughly. Look at this. We are mixing each sample with a triazole and then incubate for 5 minutes and then centrifuge each sample at 10,000 rpm for 10 minutes. Look at this. After centrifuge, transfer the supernant in a fresh new sterilized tube. Look at the sample. After that, add chloroform 200 microliter in each sample. Vertex the sample for 2 seconds. After vertex, incubate the sample for 15 minutes. After incubation, the chloroform will break the sample in 3 layers and then remove the upper RNA layer. Look at the sample. Here we are removing the upper layer that is RNA, the middle layer that is DNA and the lower layer that is proteins. Remove RNA carefully from each sample. After removing the RNA, Add 0.3 ml of ethanol 100% and incubate the sample for 2 to 3 minutes and then centrifuge the sample for 5 minutes at 10,000 rpm. After that, discard the ethanol carefully and suspend DNA pellets in sodium citrate solution twice. Sodium citrate solution must be prepared in 10% ethanol. Then remove the sodium citrate solution and air dry DNA pellets. After that, suspend the DNA pellets and NaOH 600 microliter. The pH must be adjusted up to 8 by adding half solution. Subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel.